Welcome back to my two cents, guys. It's your boy Magic, and we're back at it again with some more breaking freaking hot news, man. Holy hot damn. Did Elon Musk just buy Twitter? Man, this is wild. Last night, or, or yesterday, yesterday uh, afternoon, we got word that Elon Musk bought 9.2% of the Twitter stock. Holy crap. That makes him the majority market uh uh stock market owner of Twitter. And the first thing of business was tweet. Do we get rid of do we uh uh need a edit button on on Twitter? Cuz that's that's huge. That was huge. I hate it the fact that you can't edit your Twitter, your tweet if if you made a one word misspell, you have to erase the whole dang thing. Yeah, it's just, eh. But I get it. Some people just want to see the facts and don't want people changing things later. But hey, people screenshot stuff as soon as it happens, so that don't matter. That does not matter. If if people change it later, they all you can always go back to the past and and look at their screenshots, cause I know somebody always screenshots somebody's Twitter, uh, uh tweets and stuff. But yes, look at that. Not only that, but the second thing on the uh, uh 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 that happened was that he got appointed to the board. His his welcome to the board. And then he is tweeting, "What do I do next?" <laughs> With a big old cigar in his mouth. Who's next? What's next on the agenda? Well, they won't let me talk to uh, uh say my piece on my own on Twitter, so I had to freaking buy him out just to be able to say what I want to say and not be canceled and stuff because the the owners didn't like what I tweeted now see this could be a good thing or a bad thing I have no idea it's just too early to tell it kind of makes me a little nervous now it's like oh god we got this guy uh oh well, that one guy booted out and now let's see what Elon does oh my god uh, I mean it can't get any worse right <laughs> You know he didn't have he could have just made his own social platform. But why whenever Twitter is already there? Oh my god. I cannot believe he paid three billion dollars for nine point two percent of Twitter stock, man. That's that's wild. I mean I guess I'm guessing Jack Dorsey is just, you know, he's not mad. He's not nothing actually. I mean his stock market is just probably growing. But it gives Elon the power to do what he wants on it now. I mean, kudos. Kudos. You know, this 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 day and age, with these billionaires out here, man, they could buy the world, man. Bad thing is we're letting them. They're slowly buying the world and making it their own. I'd rather just have, rather just leave the world alone and let us be us, you know. But there's always... Jack Dorsey's out there that want to just try to make it their own only. Well, they want it for social media and everything, but they're going to do it my way. It's like, come on, man. Why even make a social media then? You know? Mm-mm-mm. This is wild, man. Three billion dollars. Hell, he's got plenty of money. He can do that. I wonder what change is going to come of it. <laughs> People are asking to... He were asking him to reinstate President Trump. <laughs> I bet he does. I bet he reinstates everybody. But it's not ultimately his call. I mean, he he'll have majority vote. He will have majority vote and everything though. But it's not just his call. Excuse my, excuse the noise in the background. Everyone's just decided to start doing everything as soon as I press play. Oh man, the noise in the background. Mowing grass. Jeez, thanks neighbor. You're awesome. Great timing. Anyways, uh, yeah, that was that was huge. That's a huge, huge news today. It's just we're gonna see where this is going. We're gonna we gotta see where this is going, cause I'm very interested to see. I wanna see. <laughs> He's a fool. Elon Musk is a fool. 
He just wants to do foolish things. <laughs> and he's got the money to do it, so I guess who's going to stop him, right? He ain't doing nothing bad with it. So, it can't get any worse than Jack Dorsey. Gee, you know? It was pretty, it was pretty ugly that, you know, what Jack Dorsey was doing with, with his uh, social network platform. Pretty bad, pretty bad, man. I wonder, I wonder if that means, uh, <laughs> I wonder if that means, uh, what's his name from Amazon's going to buy Facebook now. <clears throat> you think? Because everyone's being freaking forced to, to, uh, to do it their way. Either Facebook's way or the highway. I mean, we can't just have freedom of speech anymore. Nowadays, we have to be a, a multi-billionaire to, to buy out that social media platform to be able to actually say something and not get ridiculed by the, the owners of the freaking site. It's like, or get canceled or <laughs> freaking uh, uh, booted off the damn platform. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. While they're pushing their agendas on us through their uh, government stuff and, oh man, dudes, yeah. I don't feel bad for uh, Jack. I don't feel bad for him at all, man. This is crazy what Elon's doing, though. It's a good move. It's a cool move. I'd like to see what happens with it. See what he does with it. Hmm. Like I said, he could have made his own platform. Well, why? Whenever you got Twitter. With an asshole running it. <laughs> oh, my God. He bought out the majority stock. Wow. Yeah. This is pretty wild, man. I had uh, I had not seen this coming. I don't think anyone's seen this coming. Probably would. Probably did. After Emon was upset with what's going, how it's being ran, like everyone else, you know, I'm tired of hearing it. I'm tired of hearing Jack Dorsey doing whatever the hell he wants. Where you made a platform for everyone to use, but yet you're gonna um, be controlling over it. It's like, well, be what's the what's even the point? I mean, I was going to get rid of, I was getting ready to get rid of Twitter and Facebook because, I mean, I really don't, I really don't enjoy it that much. I really don't. <laughs> That's just me. That's just me, though. I ain't the one that, that looks for fights and going picking on people and stuff like that to, or whatever the Twitter people do. I just tweet my stuff. I just use that to, use that platform, just tweet what I'm promoting, uh, promote. Yeah, tweet my promotion. That's all I care about. I only care about getting my my word out there and my my business up, you know. At least uh at least it's gonna go toward a a different direction. Now what direction that is, we're just gonna have to find out. Oh man. There was uh, other stuff that's going on in the world, like Chris Rock. Chris Rock's sitting there getting uh uh, uh well his brother his brother's just asking for Will to return his, his Oscar, man, because for real. I mean, he didn't deserve it. He should have been, he should have never even been able to receive it. And it was not Chris Rock's call to, to, uh, to stop the police from, from, uh, uh, arresting Will Smith. The officers right there. And, uh, the, uh, showrunners right there are the ones that should have stopped that. From even happening. From him ever even gra uh, touching the Oscar. So close yet so far away. But nope. What did they do? They all let it happen. And they blamed Chris for it. Oh, he is the one that said, nah. Shoot, man. We all know that's some BS. <laughs> but, yep. I'm proud for his brother. He's uh, sticking up for Chris. And uh, he, he's one. He's been advocating for He's been advocating uh, from day one since the slap. <laughs> oh my God! Yes, April 18th. We'll find out. We'll find out what's ultimately gonna happen. And if nothing happens, boycott the academies forever, dude. Because this is disgusting. They shouldn't be on the on uh, uh, live television. Jada Smith and and Willow Smith. They were on the Red Talk. Well, how are these people still got their 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 uh their shows still, man? 
after a d disgusting display of t a week ago? Man, dude, there's something wrong with this place, man. With Hollywood, dude. This is just, just ugly. Freaking ugly. If it, I guess we can just get away with anything nowadays. If you got enough money and power, right? Because they pay the freaking police. Hell, the, the billionaires are about to start owning the police. Because the government ain't got nearly as much money as them. <laughs> man. <laughs> Hell, what, I mean... What a, can't get any worse then, right? Can't get any worse? Question mark? What you think? Man. Yeah, some crazy times going on. Uh, real quick, I just want to give a shout out to Estelle. She was the one that, that was playing uh, Mrs. Potato Head on Toy Story. Uh, Godspeed. You know, she passed away last week at age of 91, I believe. Yeah, she is way she is she is up there. Where is it? Let me see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, ninety-three. Ninety-three years old. May she rest in peace. I appreciate all the the good times watching the Toy Story with her in it. Oh man. She had that voice. One of a kind, gal. Heck yeah, man. Anyways guys, I'll go ahead and leave it on that note. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for being here. I'll be back tomorrow. I ain't going nowhere. I'm just getting started, guys. I'm a little worn out today because I got had a lot of work to do. And then, uh, uh, yeah, I just kicked my butt, and it's super hot outside today. <laughs> I just, I'm just fresh at the shower right now. Anyways, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the stream. Uh, the stream. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed my two cents today. And uh, let's talk about it. Comment below. Let me know. Hit me up on all my social medias: Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. You name it, I got it. Till next time, buds, I'll catch you in the Maniacs Club.